Hello, it's your favorite sports dunk here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to join the fastest growing community on YouTube. Remember, nightcap doesn't happen without you. So please subscribe or you're going to make Ocho cry. Ramona Shelburne released an article this morning about Kyrie wanting to team up with LeBron. You think the Lakers regret not pursuing Kyrie more aggressively? It, 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 okay, when it first when it first came out, it was Kyrie was recruiting LeBron. Right. Come on, <coughs> right? Um, Correct. I don't. This is like this is like a breakup, man. It's like X, right? It's like an ex. I don't know if this is Ben and J-Lo, though. I don't know if this is Ben and J-Lo. I don't know if they're going to get... Because they got back together after all them years. Yeah, I don't know if they're going to get back together and, um, you know, make it happy this time. You know, especially, right. you know, Kyrie, that he's he's technically the J-Lo in this right. sense, where the last couple of relationships ain't go so well for you, my guy, right? right. So, you know, LeBron's looking like, man, I done messed up. Um I don't think they were willing to pay for what Kyrie was bringing at that moment in time. Right. You know, didn't understand who he was, even though this is where he lives, would have been great for the for for the Lakers. Um, it would have took off a lot of pressure from AD and LeBron. Right. Um, but how much do you give up for him? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. If, I don't know if they had. Because so, here's the thing. I, I think the thing is that when you go back and look at it, you probably regret moving the pieces to get Russ as opposed to not giving up the pieces to get Kyrie. Because mm -hmm. if you still had those pieces, maybe you're in play for Kevin Durant. Not saying KD would have wanted to come to L.A. and team up with LeBron, but at least you have pieces in order to do that if there was some for some God unforeseen reason that he did want to come to L.A. And like, you know what, hey, for the next three years, I'll go play with AD and LeBron and we'll see what happens. But because you moved assets to get Russ and that didn't work out, now you're like, okay, we really – because you'd already given up a King's Ransom to get AD, which mm -hmm. was well worth it because you won a championship and you needed that. So you don't, I have no problem giving up Ingram and giving up all those guys what they gave up to get Anthony Davis and even the, what, the two or three first-round picks that they gave up. But when you also had to give up picks – and assets to get Russ, now you're greatly limited in what you can do moving forward. So when pieces like this become available, a Kyrie, potentially a Kyrie, a KD, a Dame Lillard, you don't have any money to go purchase anything. Yeah, that 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 Westbrook, if we erase everyone's memory and put them back in that decision, they're going to do it again. Because at that moment in time, Russ – just averaged a triple double. <laughs> he just averaged a triple double that year, going to Beal. Like everywhere he went, he meshed with the, the the star, right? So you didn't see a clash with him and LeBron style, right? You I did. Him and him in the pick and roll with him and AD. You figured that that this would be a great fit, right? Um. It's hard to say that it, it, okay, we know on record it failed, but I always believe in what happens if they're all, if they stayed healthy, what would they have looked like? Yeah, they would have been struggling from the, the shooting because, you know, Russ Russ didn't shoot the ball like that. He can't shoot the ball like that. Um, just, it's not that he don't practice it. No that one's not his game. Him. So with basketball players, there's certain players that if they're not taught at a young age to learn how to go from type two uh, fibers to type one when you're shooting. Right. They don't know how to slow their motor down to pull up for a nice jumper. So right. some of those speed demons, if they're not taught at a young age to go fast, to slow down for that jumper, they're never going to learn how to shoot a jump shot. So okay. him, Ben Simmons, they don't know how to stop to shoot that jumper. So they're going to always be, no matter how many shots they take in practice, looks great. When the game time stuff starts and you rev that Bugatti engine up, oh no, nah, yeah, you 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 brick, brick, brick. And that's that's the problem with them too. Do you think if Russ would have been accepting of the role like he has with the Clippers, it would have worked better? Could he have come off the bench for the Lakers as opposed to being in the starting lineup? What could have been what could have been different? Let's just say everybody stays healthy. LeBron doesn't get nicked. 
AD doesn't miss, you know, 30, 40 games. LeBron ends up missing some time also. If what was the best case scenario in order for these three to 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 strive to get to 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 thrive together? Uh, it was ordering. It was it was uh, oil and vinegar from the beginning okay. because the rust today, the rust today wasn't the rust that summer. Correct. Right? You know, the rust that summer was a triple double guy. Mm -hmm. You're going to tell a triple double guy to come off the bench for Reeves insulting. And that was the problem. When the, the idea of, hey, come off the bench and he's looking around for who? I don't want to even come off the bench for LeBron James, goddammit. That's his ego at the time. LeBron James AD. I, I don't know who's <coughs> one, but I guarantee I'm number two in this motherfucker right here. Right? right. So coming off for this dude? No, no, no. The reality check that hit him, the booze at home. He had to really process everything that went in. And then we went to the Clippers and they embraced him. He sat back and said, all right, coming off the bench ain't that bad. All right, fellas, this is what I'll do. And it was his idea. But it had to take that type of ass swooping from the media, the fans, and reality. The Laker fans. You know, the real just the the reality of I'm not the triple double guy any, anymore. They don't need me to be that guy, right? I can still get my 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 shit off if I need to, but it's we're a better team if I can control the second unit and let Harden start. That was not happening with the Lakers. Same right. thing with D Lo, right? Same thing with D Lo and Reeves. They're sitting there looking at two dudes. That they're not that they're not that that's that's not better than them. Yes. And what was the difference between Russ and them? Nothing. They were doing the same thing. Yo, you got two dudes in here that nah. They had the same problems. Do you think there's a different expectation of Russ with the Clippers as opposed with the Lakers, which makes it a lot easier? Because he was expected to come in and basically I don't think he was going to be able to do that, but the fans thought he could be able to do that. Average a triple double with LeBron, with LeBron and AD, and it's just he's not going to have the ball in his hands enough to do it. Yeah, it was a, okay, it was it, you're, you're walking into a fail, right? Especially since you're 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 not the number one option, right? Um, right. You're coming in. You're the triple double guy. If you don't. Average a triple double, the same triple double you averaged a year before. It's going to be a failure anyway. Especially if we're not we're not winning. There's no Correct. result of these. You, you, you second guess what country Wayne following cat right? Right. <laughs> it's a it's a great interview. Yes, but you're not cat. God damn it! Like right. whoever followed that performance was going to fail no matter what because that was a performance. Yes. We're expecting. Like I know, I know he was like, man. Let me let me redo mine. Let me redo mine real quick. Let me go back into the studio. Uh, right, right. And that's 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 how Russ is. You get here with it. We just won. You the high level. You need to come out and be triple double. If not, we booing you. And that's right. what happened. And right. that hurt his feelings. Right. Because I know it hurt mine. Yeah, because that's the team. Look, and there's nothing. Look, the Clippers are the Clippers. But his whole dream, his hometown team was the Lakers. Shaq and Kobe winning championships mm -hmm. and him going to the parade and seeing that. And so his lifelong dream, if he was going to play, and if I got an opportunity to play for the Lakers, oh, man, that's going to be an unbelievable feeling. That's mm -hmm. going to be great. And then when he gets here, the one thing about Laker, the Laker fans, Laker Nation, you better win. They don't give a damn what you did for somebody else. Mm -hmm. Ask LeBron with LeBron. You remember every time they try to put a mural up on LeBron, somebody would deface it. Really? It's like he hadn't done anything with us. Uh huh. We yeah. won't. <laughs> and that's just the way it is. And so even though Russ was a hometown kid, there's like none of them triple doubles. That MVP, none of that happened in purple and gold. So until he does something in the purple and gold, we're not, we not, we're not jumping up and down because you're a hometown kid. That, 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 you know, Los Angeles is the type of city that needs to see you grow, right? They mm -hmm. need to see you from here to here to really, like, understand 
appreciate your your path. AD won a championship. Yes. We still booing you. Yes. Nah, we don't like this performance. You won a championship for us, and we're still not happy with what you're doing. Right. Because you you didn't build nothing here. Mm-hmm. You came here. You are rental property here. <laughs> right? right. You know, like the, the Kobe's, the Magics, and stuff like that. You have to put in years for us to respect those years. Yes. You know, you when you were big. Be Clipper. It's easy to be the Clipper. And, and AD, what he has working against him is that he's a big. And every great big, with the exception of Russell, has played for the Lakers. Yeah. So you got Chamberlain, you got Mike, and you got Kareem, you got mm-hmm. Shaq. So you got all the bigs. Yeah. So that's what you're up against. So if you don't dominate for basically a decade, they're like, man, what are you? Man, come on. Yep. And it's going to take a decade. It's going to take a decade for, for us to re- <laughs> Right? Because that's- we had Shaq. Yes. Right? You know, we we had the big fella, so you know that's that's our last great big man. And nah, or even or even Powell. Powell won two championships with Kobe, and mm-hmm. although he was not as dominant as uh as Shaq and Kareem, obviously you're talking about you know transcendent figures with Shaq and Kareem and Chamberlain and Mike Mike in Minneapolis. But when you play a position, the Lakers are known for bigs. That's mm-hmm. what they're known for. Yeah, they're known for bigs. Mm-hmm. And when you play, when you play up and you're big and you come to LA, they think domination. They think it's Shaq. They think it's Kareem. They think it, they think it's Chamberlain. That's what they're thinking. And so you give them 20, you give them 25 and 12. They're like, and, <laughs> and <laughs> we booed the white Howard who shouldn't have been playing average 17 and 12 made the all-star game. We booed him in the Houston. <laughs> with a, with a, and he was in LA with a bad back. Shouldn't have been playing. Shouldn't have been playing at all. Who wanted to play so bad? Average 17 and 12 was the second best player on our team, and we booed him out of here. That hurt that hurt the franchise for, for a couple of years. Right. Do you uh do you think Kyrie and LeBron will ever reunite? No. Nah. Or is it too late? Nah. Nah, it's too late. Huh? I mean. If Kyrie needs wants another championship, possibly, but the youth that they both had, they had youth on their side, you know. Yes. Um, when when Kyrie left, it was no di- what I understand what Kyrie was thinking, right? Same thing Kobe was thinking, right? Right? Y'all, y'all don't think I'm that good by myself. Right? right, I'm doing all these game winners. I'm ta- I'm carrying us the last three minutes, but he's getting all the credit. Oh, I need my own team, and it ain't it ain't been working out ever since. No, because w- what you see you doing, you're not seeing what he's doing. The last three minutes of your greatness is because the last the the first forty five was his. Right. Getting the team involved, making sure everyone was in the right position for you to dominate, right? right? That's what made those type of guys great. That's what made Magic great. That's what even made Michael Jordan great, right? And I don't think at a young age, Kyrie knew that. He's right. been taking those lumps as he goes now. Now. Um, but I don't think there's going to be a reunion. This is not going to be new edition. Uh, you're not going to have the fat Bobby Brown coming out there. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> it, it because I mean, it's not, and I think sometimes players think it's easier to win and build a championship than it actually is. Yeah. Because he automatically assumes, okay, I'm going to go link up with uh, KD and this thing going to take off. And then they end up getting James Harden. Said, for whatever reason, they couldn't stay healthy. But mm-hmm. it's a lot more difficult because even when Ka, when um, when Kobe and Sh- when Shaq split, it still took some years mm-hmm. before Kobe actually won a championship. And he had to get a team specific for that. You know, he needed a low post flare and power that he could dump it to down and that if he got fouled, he can go make free throws. He needed... He needed a, a Lamar Odom. He needed a Metal World piece. He needed certain pieces to fit exactly who and what Kobe was. Yeah. You, okay. There's two things that happens with us, right? 
when we're when we're younger, we want to build our resume as a dominant player. Okay. So with Kobe, right? He he had the advantage of having Shaquille O'Neal in place. So he got the win early. But the knock was, you're not Michael Jordan. You're not doing all this stuff. So he's like, right. well, 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 remove these pieces then, right? So y'all can see, y'all can see what I am. Y'all can see what type of killer I am. Same thing with Kyrie, right? You win in the championships with LeBron in your early age, and you're like, nah. Nah, y'all, y'all disrespecting me. Y'all don't have me as the number one guard, and I'm that dude. So let me go get my own team. Right. Right. And that's what happens to some players. You know, you get on these good teams, and the the team greatness stunts the growth of the individual player. When the individual player is trying to build his individual resume. Right. You know, it's easier for me, like Luca right now. It's easy for me to do the damage now, then go be a winner later. If right. I'm a winner now and win, it, it's hard for me to build my resume after that because now you're expecting winning when I'm trying to be selfish as an individual. Right. Winhorse said today, I don't know what's going to happen with LeBron in 2025. I feel like LeBron is going to play next year, but I don't know if it's going to be for the Lakers. Do, could you Ooh. see a scenario in which LeBron is not playing in a Lakers uniform? Hell. <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? Brian Winhorse. He wrote an article today. He said it today. Oh, man, he should be fired, man. Come on, man. You don't come all the way to L.A., man, get this good-ass weather over here and then go back to something. No, no, that's not how that works. Once you get to the sunshine, you're doing anything to stay here. Right. Right? I don't know if y'all know what happens outside of L.A. It's cold out there. <laughs> yeah, it's very cold. It's, it's very cold, cold out there in them streets. Them airports is cold. They're coming home and your whole car under snow. That happens when you come to L.A., you in Beverly Hills. Life seems, it seems happier, right? Yes. It's happier when you walk outside and it's sunny versus it's snow and it's rainy and miserable, right? It's easy to just wake up at, I mean, even though that smells like bud, but right, you know, <laughs> the palm trees. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? And, right. And that's, so it's hard once someone gets to L.A., it's really hard for them to just want to leave. You're going to have to trade LeBron. Well, I don't see that happening because yeah. he's still a draw. He's still playing at a he's still playing at an extremely high level. He's averaging 25, 7, and 7 yeah. uh, in year 21. And I'm sure there are a lot of other teams that would want him just for the draw, but he's not just a draw. He's still a damn good I, – I, for me, he's still a top-10 player for me. Yeah, th look – one, Palinka himself, he don't have more power than LeBron. Correct. Not in this NBA, right? So there's never going to be no scenario where he thinks he's just about to trade LeBron to any damn where. Right. That's not happening, right? So if LeBron do leave, it's because LeBron traded himself. There's no, there's no scenario that Palinka or Jenny's going to do that doesn't have LeBron making the call 100%.